What's up, y'all? Y'all already know. You know who I am. Two Pretty Kenny. Found with the Corner Pocket Crips. Yeah, you goddamn right. I started Corner Pocket Crips in my mama garage. We as black folks, it's a shame how we hate on each other. How we bad, but we sit in the cut and bad mouth our jealous because somebody get a little fame or recognition and he's one of them type of cats. The busters have been telling all you youngsters that I didn't start corner pocket cribs. Let me tell y'all something about that buster, right? That buster never came back, right? When we used to go to the grannies, he never went to the granny. If you ask that buster, point the direction of the grannies, he probably couldn't even, he probably point to Paramount. And like when we used to go to the crib parties, he never was at the crib parties with us. Never, right? When we was taking leather coats on the bus and stuff, he, he wasn't there, you know, because he wasn't no gangbanger. But he got some stuff happened years ago where he got hatred for me, you know? So he got all y'all believing that story and stuff. And y'all. What happened? What happened, Kenny? He got people in Compton thinking what they thinking. Lying on me and stuff, but he won't say it in my face, y'all. You know, if I go to him, he probably say, hey, what's up, my nigga? Too pretty, Kenny, nigga, you know you the family. You know, when we, if we one on one, you know what I mean? Real talk, you know. And I don't talk about people, but this has been going on too long, and he ain't told too many of them youngsters, you know, two, three generations after me, that I ain't who I say I was, or I didn't start the corner pocket crib. Now, okay, when we, when we did a video, me and Kev Mack, we went to my mama house. I said, take care of Mac. The day I started the corner pocket crib, we did a roll call in my mama garage. We painted it. It stayed in there for a thousand years. June the 20th, 1972, right? But the people were scared because we had the camera crew and all that. They didn't want us to go in. So, okay, get my book and read. I did a roll call. Uh, all them niggas that's in my name. I mean, it was in my mama's garage when I started going to pocket court. They in my book. The niggas are still living. So all you youngsters that doubt who I am, go to them. They still living. And I got everybody named first and last name and ask them. Because one thing about them niggas that was there, say, oh, oh gee, you don't have to prove nothing to none of them little youngsters. You know, because that was our thing and we was cripping different than the generation, right? You know, so long as we know. And they was telling me. You don't have to prove nothing to nobody. Long they know the rhythm of corner pocket crib. I didn't start pocket hood. Pocket hood came after the corner pocket cribs. I started the corner pocket cribs. So the new generation that was pocket hood, yeah, they didn't know about me because I wasn't on the streets. Oh, hey, yo, I'm too pretty, Kenny. Oh, I'm about that. I became a mailman, right? So I got married. So I ain't about that life no more. I'm trying to live. Legit, you know what I mean? Because what I did when I was 16 years old, that was the past. Didn't you go to service too? I went to the service because I had to get away because they was busting on me and stuff like that. I mean, them niggas was putting work in on me, but the bullets would never hit me. They would all hit the homies trying to get to me. I'd be standing at Lou's liquor store uh, right there on Wilmington, and I could see the sparks from the gun, you know, they jumping out their car, they pointed at me, and I always had a sense that when they start shooting, I always went to the ground, right? Other niggas still posted up, whoop, whoop, what, Nick, you know? But they was the ones getting shot. And so I always had sense to hit the ground when uh, the shooting start, or we be at a party. No, we acting a fool, right? So we had a blood party. So then if I see one of them cats, and we might not have a gun, and they pull out a gun, I say, man, cub, oh, old boy got a gun. Let's get out of here. They're at the home. Y'all got, got niggas like this. Man, fuck these niggas. I ain't running. I'll quit or die. Woo, woo. Man, fuck this shit. Man, fuck that. You know what I mean? We don't got a gun. I knew. I kept my mouth shut. I mean, the homies was talking all that, they the one would get bust on. Cause they talking about they gonna crip or die. You know, you got to think, of, you gonna be a gangster, you got to think. When your time to perform and when your time not to perform, not to prove to your homies, oh, I crip or die, I'm one of them down ass niggas, you know, kill me, motherfucker. Who? Nigga, check out. Thank <laughs> you.